Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I have been binge watching a bunch of Taylor Wynn videos recently. I will link her channel in the description box below. She's a beauty guru, if you will. She does a lot of makeup tutorials, reviews, hits and misses, things like that. And she did a series, I guess you could call it a series. She did a video in 2018, 2019, and 2020 with makeup starter kit recommendations. And I have been on the hunt for some kind of foundation that would work for me not a foundation just something to even out my skin just a little bit like tinted moisturizer or BB or CC cream something like that and I haven't found one I haven't been really like hunting diligently but I have been curious to find it and I watched all three of those videos that she did and most of the stuff in this video that I'm gonna use I picked from something she recommended in one of those three videos. I went off of trying to find the most budget friendly because just in case I didn't like it and then also I am cruelty free so if it was cruelty free and budget friendly then I was into it. What seems to be in style for makeup is very heavy makeup recently. I think that that actually might be kind of phasing out I'm not sure but it seems like heavy makeup has been in fashion recently and it looks great but it's not helpful for me to find something lightweight like I was just describing especially for skin that isn't quite as young and supple it's harder to make those heavy makeup looks look good on me anyway so let's get into it I'm gonna start with my eyes and I'm gonna put on a base this wasn't recommended I didn't get a base in the whole haul I got some stuff on Ulta and on Amazon but so I'm just gonna use this base this is actually Terra Mare I got this in a Pediver box and this is a Terra Mare eyeshadow base so I'm gonna just put on some of this on my eyelids and I'm just gonna use my ring finger to dab it out If you hear my baby in the background, I'm sorry. He's having a fussy day. My husband's watching him right now and he's having a really fussy day. Actually, probably his fussiest day that he's ever had. I need to pluck a little eyebrow hair there. Got it. Now, I am gonna start off with the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. This is something that she recommended, and this was actually sent to me by a good friend, Lauren. If you're watching, hi, Lauren. I'm excited to feature this in a video. So this is what the palette looks like. It's gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. I want this to be kind of an everyday look, so I'm going to do something quite subtle. I'm going to go in with a Luxie blending blush, and I'm going to use the color switch from Fun Box to switch between colors. This was actually a really nice little item in the box. The colors aren't named, so I'm going to start off with this one right here. I haven't done a get ready with me in a while, and I feel a little bit like I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but we're going to, we're going to, Go with it, right? I also have a whole new setup for filming. So I'm just putting this in the crease. Ugh, I can tell my skin is just getting older. So, and then I'm gonna switch colors. I just want a little bit in the crease. And then I'm gonna put, I think maybe this one that was right next to it is like a gold shimmer in the corners. And then I'll use a grayish to smoke it out a little bit. I don't want it to be super boring. Now I'm like, I wanna do something fabulous, but we're gonna try to stick to an everyday look. Okay, and I'll do that on the other side. I'm actually thinking I want to use a different brush for this. This is from Tribe. This is Clonade Cosmetics. It's a really pretty iridescent brush, and I just want to use it. It's a flat brush, and I want to use that to pack a little bit of the color right there. How are you guys doing with this pandemic? Leave a comment below, let us all know. How is it going for you? So, and then I'm gonna use for the outer parts of my eyelid, the Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. So it's there. And I'm gonna use this shimmery gray color right here. This is a blending brush. I want to go back to the Cleonade. C-L-I-O-N-A-D-H. Cleonade. So I want to go back to that brush for this. Okay. 
then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. This is gonna just be a whole lot of back and forth, back and forth between each eye. Oh, I didn't, I didn't tap off the excess. I'm gonna have to blend that out a little. We're gonna go back to one of the Luxie blending brushes, the first one that I used, the just blending brush, and blend that into each other on both sides. On the brow bone, I am going to put, I'll, I'll do this, this nude color up here. not loving that let's just do we're gonna do this one this is the one i put in the crease i'm gonna put that on the brow bone make it a little sparklier could also just put highlighter up there i suppose Okay, I'm gonna call that good because like I said, I don't want this to be super, super dramatic. I want this to be like a starter kit, something I could wear for a business meeting kind of thing. I want to line my eyes with the black color in here. Okay, well I'm gonna use, this is not the brush I was looking for at all. Oh, this is an old Maybelline brush and this is gonna do the trick. So I'm gonna use this uh, tapered precision brush. I guess, to line my eyes with this black color from the Milani palette. I did one film one video where the baby was crying in the background and somebody commented, how can you film and listen to that? Wouldn't, don't you just want to run to him? And little did they know I did. I stopped the video like six times and ran to him. And then for the last half of the video, I was holding him in my arms. And that's probably why you could hold, hear him even better in that video. It was one of my Fat Fit Fun videos. where that leads us so I'm gonna stop with the eyeshadow for now I think that that's more or less okay I'm gonna move on to I'll do eyelashes uh, and eyebrows last but I'm gonna move on to the face stuff which is what I really was excited to do today so I this morning put on for moisturizer this Hyaluron moisture cream this wasn't part of her videos but I wanted to mention it just because in her Taylor's videos she said that Primer worked sometimes if you had a good primer. She didn't really emphasize that you truly, truly needed primer, so I didn't purchase one, but I did pull this moisturizer out. I got it from FabFitFun. I did pull it out because I needed to pull out a new moisturizer. I noticed it had dimethicone in it, so for me, that is definitely a morning moisturizer. Moaning. <laughs> that is definitely a morning moisturizer. So I thought I would put this on this morning and use it kind of like in anticipation of doing this video. Anyway, if you're curious what I think of it, first impression, I used it for the first time this morning. It smells nice. It has like a kind of clean, almost a little bit tart, citrus, not citrusy, some little bit tart scent. There's something it's reminding me of like a, an aloe vera or something. I think I smell aloe vera in it and that's kind of the scent that I'm trying to describe. Um, and then it also has like a gel consistency. It says cream on it, but it has a little bit of a gel-like consistency and it was nice. I can definitely feel the dimethicone in it. Also, I think I felt some aloe. I have to double check the, check, the, I have to double check the <laughs> ingredients, but I think I felt some aloe in there too. Uh, so that should work really well. Now, something she recommended was the Milani Soft Focus Glow. Sorry, I'm playing with lighting in here. I'm setting up my recording area there. That's a little bit better. So Milani Soft Focus Glow, that's what this looks like. She said that this is good as a primer and also on its own. She said she really liked the way it made her skin look even without foundation. She is big on foundation. Let's see, so this says, I got it in Nude Glow. It's for fair to light skin and then they only have three shades. And it says, get a dewy radiant glow with this weightless mineral-based luminizer with soft focus, 
pearl pigments to revive, perfect, and smooth the appearance of the skin. Contains moisturizing hyaluronic acid, brightening rose water, and soothing cucumber. So I'm super excited. I like the packaging too. You pull this off and then it's a pump. On one half, I'm gonna use just my fingers. And then on the other, I'm gonna try it on this round tap blender from Loxy. This is from FabFitFun. So let's do it. It's definitely dewy. We're doing this. I'm practicing my mom jokes. This brush feels really nice. It smells like plasticky, so I just put a little bit more product on. The reason I did my eyes first is because I like that you can kind of clean up the side if you get any fallout. I waxed my upper lip for this video. So it's definitely very dewy. I don't know if I like a dewy look just on its own. Oh, you know what I should do? I think I'm gonna have a little impromptu change of plans right now. I also ordered, I was just gonna use this in this video, but I also ordered something else she recommended in these videos to try separately, but I'm gonna try both in this video. So she also uh, recommended the Essence Awake Primer, healthy glow, pore minimizing effect with vitamin complex and cranberry water. So it looks like that. So I'm gonna try this on the other side of my face. Now I should use a different brush just so I get the pure unadulterated effect of this particular product. So I'll try this one just with my fingers on the other side of my face. So this one just looks like that. Let's see which one I like better. Or if I like either. This one's also really super dewy. I like using a brush better. I feel like I look like I'm sweating. Don't I look like I'm sweating? I'm gonna have to, I, did, I do have a powder here. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I look like I'm sweating. Bronzer, bronzer's next. She recommended Phys Physician's Formula. This was the most expensive thing that I purchased. So I certainly hope I like it. I will link everything in the description box below that I purchased and where you can buy it. None of those links are gonna make me any money because I'm not set up to do that. So some people seem put off by that. I'm not sure why. Okay, so it looks like this. It's like this, woo, bottom opens for some reason. Oh, it comes with its own little applicator. Oh, that smells good. That makes me wanna go to Hawaii, it's like coconutty. So this is the applicator it came with. It's like a spongy. Let's use flat sculpting from Luxie. I'm gonna start bronzing. I remember I heard once you should start from, and I knew this generally, but it was a really helpful like guideline for me to hear. You start from the corner of your mouth and you work up to the top of your ear. That's where you aim as, as you're doing the bronzer on your cheek. Oh, it smells lovely, I love this. Oh wow, it looks much more prominent on the finder than in the mirror, that's interesting. I hope this looks better than I think it does. I feel like it's going on really heavy back here for some reason. Okay, well, let's do a little bit up top. This needs to get rubbed out. Let's move on. The next thing that she recommended was a blush and it's, this is Essence the blush and this is in the shade befitting. This is what it looks like Super simple essence is awesome. So this is a round powder brush. I'm just gonna use this for some blush I still look like a sweaty mess from the dewiness of using those things on their own without a foundation over them. So for highlighter, we have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. My camera messed up, I already applied it here, I thought it was recording. We have it here, and it Be My Highlight is the shade that I got. I'm using this Luxie highlighter brush. So I already put it on this side. I feel like they look so dewy from the Milani and Essence products that I put on my face that you can't even see the highlighter, but we're trudging ahead. I think I did this out of order. We're gonna back it up. 
I also wanted to do, and I completely forgot, I got this e.l.f. concealer. e.l.f. E-L-F stands for eyes, lips, face. And this is their hydrating camo concealer satin finish, and I got it in the shade Light Sand. Hopefully that is correct. It is their light neutral, I believe. I think I have light warm um, or neutral. I definitely am not as cool toned. We're gonna try this, and I should have done this before I started in on the bronzer and everything, but we're gonna try this. And then I wanna powder, I wanna powder the heck out of this dewiness, this is crazy. And I am not gonna do like a whole lot of this. I was talking about the trendiness of heavy makeup. This is like, people use this with a really heavy hand and that doesn't work if you're wrinkly. I don't think I'm wrinkly. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit. I go in with my finger to get in those little corners. And concealer is something that I would really like to make work for me because I do feel like I have dark under eyes and sometimes in videos I see that they're actually puffy and I didn't really even realize it. She recommended some setting powders, which I didn't really find one that I wanted to purchase because it was either, either not cruelty free or a little just more pricey than I wanted to pay for what I'm doing in this video. So I'm just gonna use, I have the Ciate London Translucent Setting Powder. It's got a really light logo on the outside that you can, can't really see too well, but it is quite nice. I like Ciate products. They're made in Italy. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a powder brush. This is the Eco Tools Round Powder Brush. I like these, I got a set of these at TJ Maxx, it was 10 bucks on clearance. And I know a lot of influencers apply the powder with a blender first and then they swipe it away with the brush, but I'm already doing this and so I'm sticking to it. So I'm gonna let that set there a little bit and then I'm gonna wipe away the excess. I feel like I can already see everything just settling into my wrinkles and it just looks worse than it would if I wore nothing. And you know what, the camera is very, very forgiving. So it looks, it might look like it's fine and it looks great. It doesn't though. Okay, I am going to use some of this powder on my shininess also. I'm just gonna brush it over. Okay, and then we'll swipe that away. That looks much less dewy. I can handle that. That's much better. I still just feel like it's just settling into every crevice. It looks great in the finder now, actually. <laughs> looks a lot better. So let's go back to the highlighter. That's where we left off with my broken brush, my broken Lexi brush that is brand new from a tribe box. So let's, I think I covered up what highlighter I put on my cheeks. So we're gonna try that again. I think that's it. I think that's all I want to do. Just there and there. I can't find the mascara that I wanted to use. Well, I can definitely use one that I would recommend for a starter mascara if I can't find it. This is maddening. Probably like right in front of my face. I have one that I can recommend. You've seen this everywhere probably on YouTube and Taylor actually did recommend this in one of her videos, but because I've talked about it before, I wanted to do something new. So I ordered a CoverGirl one that she recommended and I cannot find it. I'll show you how this one performs. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect and it looks like this. This is like $4.99, you can get it on Amazon. So we're gonna go ahead and do the lashes. I like to do my eyelashes in kind of a weird way where I like to wiggle and then I like to push inward toward my nose and I feel like I get a lot more product onto my lashes much more quickly and it focuses on my outer lashes. And then once I do that a few times, then I will spread it out and then spread my lashes apart. If you are curious, I like my lashes to look long and voluminous. I don't mind a little bit of clumpiness because I just like more dramatic looking lashes. So this mascara is amazing. My favorite 
was a CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara, not the one that I was just trying to find, a different CoverGirl one. And I swore by that one for a few years and then I discovered this one just from watching YouTube videos and it is so good and it's a couple dollars cheaper than that CoverGirl one. This is now my favorite, favorite mascara. So there you go, I love it. I just watched a Leanne Says video where she did a Your Favorite Mascaras Showdown and this one won out of five mascaras that she used. I will find and I will use that CoverGirl mascara in another video. Let me know if you're into this kind of video where it's inspired by another YouTuber, a makeup look inspired by another YouTuber. I did purchase a brow gel based on her videos and it is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I love brow gels and I'm just gonna use a gel, I'm not gonna do a pencil. So the spoolie looks like that, nice and tiny. This is in the medium color. And I think they only had three shades, so it was light, medium, and deep. I was editing a video I uploaded recently and my eyebrows looked terrible and I was like, oh my goodness. And I think that, and I fixed them, but I think it's time for a little eyebrow maintenance again. So easy to let ourselves go during this time when we aren't going anywhere, right? I just shaped my nails yesterday and I was like, oh yes, that was so awesome. They look so much better now and I forgot. I didn't realize how kind of ratchet they looked. Ratchet, I never used that word. I just used it. I don't even know if I used it correctly or said it correctly. Okay, she did recommend some lipsticks, but none of them were matte long lasting, which is my favorite kind of formula, so I didn't get one. But I just got a really, really awesome care package from a subscriber friend, Laura. I mentioned a friend, Lauren, earlier. In that package was this Laura Geller Iconic Baked Salt Sculpting Stick lipstick. And I am really impressed by the packaging. So Laura Geller is a brand that I always kind of overlooked because I see them at TJ Maxx all the time. So they just felt very available and bunch at TJ Maxx. And so I don't know, because of that, I just never really thought much of Laura Geller, but I ended up buying in the last Fat Pit Fun sale, there was a mascara that had wonderful reviews, Lash Boss Mascara. And so I got that in that sale. And then when this showed up, the packaging is just incredible. It has that kind of nice feel to the lipstick and then it's magnetized. The It's magnetized. Did you hear that? Did you see that? That's so nice. So this is just a nude color, not matte, not long lasting, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. I wish they had like some sort of lip gloss type product that you could put over cream lipsticks that made them last like matte lipsticks because I feel like I miss out, but I just don't like the transfer. Anyway, so here we go. I should definitely use this with a lip liner. That's really pretty. Everything looks better in the finder than it does in my mirror in real life. Everything looks better on camera, on Instagram, on video than it does in real life. Don't forget that. Okay, let me see if I have a liner that will work. Mirabella Tease. Should have done the lip liner first. For the final touch, she did, Taylor did recommend the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Finishing Spray, and I already had this in my stash, so I figured I would just go ahead and use this. That was the back of it that I just showed you. So, this is the front. <laughs> Here we go. I feel like I'm supposed to shake it, so I'm gonna. I have a fan somewhere too. I just moved in, I'm setting up my beauty room. Things are chaos, that's why I put mascara somewhere and I can't find it. Oh, my mascara, darn it. I would say the setting spray does make it feel just kind of like it's set. 
if you will. Anyway, it does kind of finish it off. Like I said, in person, it doesn't ever look nearly as good as it does on camera. It does kind of seem like it's settling into my wrinkles. I have crow's feet, and but it's not nearly as bad as when I try it out with foundation as well. It does kind of blur. I have some hyperpigmentation. It did kind of blur that. I can still see it coming through a little bit. Overall, I don't know. I don't think I've landed on something that I think that I want to use that will do what I've been looking for and hoping for. Maybe what I'm looking for and hoping for isn't out there. Maybe there's no formula that will blur me and I can feel like I'm not wearing anything and it won't get on my clothes and it won't get on anything and it'll last all day and not look different at night than it did in the morning when I just applied it. Maybe that doesn't exist, but we'll see. I'm sorry that you heard a baby crying throughout this video. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing anyway. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.